Hi there, today we're going to go over Final Fantasy Reaper controller setup guide. This has been my tried and true setup since Reaper came out and I find it really satisfying, just busy enough and not too difficult to use. I also want to say I have a big announcement coming up for my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for future updates which you can find in my Discord or join me on my live streams on Tuesdays and Fridays. Let's jump into the Reaper controller setup. Reaper is fairly quick and a fun rotation and requires quite a few GCDs and OGCDs that are on the bottom cross hotbar to be able to execute properly. If you want to learn how to do a double stack cross hotbar then you can find that in my controller playlist in the description. Right trigger 1 is always my 3 combo GCD which for Reaper is Slice, Waxing Slice, and Infernal Slice. We also have Soul Slice here which is used pretty frequently on cooldown. Right trigger 1 d-pad is our soul gauge prox when using our soul gauge abilities. Now you'll be spending a lot of time here on these four abilities, guillotine, gallows, gibbet, and soul harvest. These basically make up almost the entirety of your level 90 rotation and so I have them here so I'm still able to move with my left thumb when needing to use these procs. At later levels when you get in shroud, these abilities here turn into your shroud abilities. So they are double important. Right trigger 2 abilities are Arcane Crest, Arcane Circle, Soul Harvest, and Shadow of Death. Arcane Crest is a defense buff for the party while Arcane Circle is a damage buff for the party. But it is also how we get our Plentiful Harvest ability later on. Soul So is just here so you can move that anywhere and Shadow of Death is here for our opener. Now Shadow and Death and Soul Slice can be interchanged. I just have Soul Slice on the bottom cross hotbar to mimic the AoE version of it on the left cross hotbar. The right trigger 2 d-pad is up for grabs, you can kind of stick anything here. I just have harp because it's really only used in the opener and stun, but you can mess around with things here. Left trigger 1 of course is our AoE just like the rest of my jobs. We have spinning scythe, nightmare scythe, whirl of death, and soul scythe. Only two AoE GCD combo are shadow of death which is our debuff for multiple enemies and soul scythe to mimic soul slice on the right trigger. It can get a little confusing, but just make note that single target abilities is Soul Slice and AoE abilities is with the ending of Scythe. Now like most of my other jobs, the left trigger d-pad takes the majority of my job abilities that are specific to that job. For Reaper, this is where we spend our Soul Gauge as well as enter our Enshroud state or use our Enshroud Gauge. These abilities are Grim Swath, Bloodstock, Enshroud, and Gluttony. So I have these set up this way for Grim Swath to mimic our guillotine, that is our AoE spender, so both d-pad down. Bloodstock is our single target with one Soul Reaver proc, Soul Reaver is just when you can use the blue abilities over here, and Gluttony which is our strong AoE single target-ish ability that gives two Soul Reavers procs, which means two abilities from over here. You are pretty much using Gluttony on cooldown wherever you can, single target or AoE. Enshroud is up to the top just because you use it pretty often, but you can and switch the Enshroud ability for Communio if that feels better for you. Our left trigger two letters are our Gap Closers and Jump Back with Bloodbath and Second Win. You can just adjust these how you see fit. I always keep Second Win on that button just for continuity between all of my jobs. Left trigger 2 d-pad is Limit Break, Communio, True North, and Arms Length. Again, think about where you would like Communio, you have some free spots open. I personally don't think you use it enough to warrant having it on the bottom cross hotbar as it is a big damage dealer, but it's not used as frequently as all these other abilities. Now, if you want to see my controller setups for my other jobs, you can find those in my controller playlist down below. Regarding my earlier announcement, I am having a huge rebrand with my channel with a new logo, merch, and just building a community around that. I am super excited for it and it will be out soon, so don't get scared if you see my YouTube name change. I will still be here doing the same helpful guide content, well, hopefully helpful. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.